On the 23rd of February 2023, Australia's Poisons and Medicines Control Authority, the Therapeutic Goods Administration, or TGA for short, rescheduled psilocybin and MDMA as Category 8 controlled substances. Both psilocybin and MDMA are still classified as Schedule 9, prohibited substances for any recreational purposes, and any possession or distribution are subject to criminal charges. However, as of 1 July 2023, both psilocybin and MDMA will be able to be accessed for therapeutic purposes where strict conditions are met. This means that Australia is the first country in the world to formally recognise psilocybin and MDMA as medicine. Those with treatment-resistant depression, or TRD, will be able to access psilocybin, and those with post-traumatic stress disorder, or PTSD, can access MDMA. Although the legal access of these psychedelics have changed, there is still much to be aware of, and it won't be as simple as getting a script from a psychiatrist. In order to gain access to these psychedelics, a registered psychiatrist must have met four conditions. Number one have approval from a Human Research Ethics Committee. Two, that approval needs to be endorsed by the Therapeutic Goods Administration. Three, be an authorised prescriber. And four, all other approved medicines on the Australian Register of Therapeutic Goods needs to have been considered for treatment prior to the psychiatrist resorting to MDMA or psilocybin. The Australian Register of Therapeutic Goods does not have any approved MDMA and psilocybin products on its register, which means that MDMA and psilocybin products themselves won't have been vetted by the TGA as an approved product. But a selection of products can be legally accessed and supplied where the other conditions have been met. It is worth noting that states and territories are not required to adopt the change in poison standards made by the TGA, and there may be circumstances after 1 July 2023 where a state and territory does not identically adopt the changes. Research on MDMA and psilocybin is still emerging and the TGA currently recommends that the dose prescribed by psychiatrists matches that supplied in the clinical trials. But there is concern from professionals that similar to how antidepressants have been treated, people could be given psychedelics without therapy alongside it. Psychedelics bring up many emotions, and a range of physical sensations from the body can be experienced. Therapy can help people prepare for these experiences, do them safely with a trained therapist, and then integrate their experience into their lives and manage any challenging emotions. If you are interested in accessing psychedelic therapy, it is important to be aware of the skills, training, and qualifications of the psychiatrist prescribing these medicines, and any therapist you may request to help you. A range of training programs exist for psychiatrists and other mental health professionals wishing to facilitate psychedelic therapy, 
but there are currently no accredited training programs. This means that the content and practices of the training are not nationally recognised. And there are no gold standard products that are monitored by an agency with authority and governance. This is why it's extremely important to research what professional bodies they may be registered with that holds them accountable to create a safe environment for you if you are choosing to access psychedelic therapy. At the moment, Australia does not have a training program that addresses prescribing, administering and monitoring people undertaking psychedelic therapy. Prescribers and practitioners need to have the confidence and awareness of altered states of consciousness, transpersonal psychology, and the importance of high-quality therapy to be effective in treating you safely. Dr Lani Roy is on the board of the Australian Multidisciplinary Association for Psychedelic Practitioners. This organisation seeks to promote safe and effective psychedelic-assisted therapy for individuals in need. Our vision is to create a world where individuals have access to high-quality, evidence-based, psychedelic-assisted care through a network of trained, qualified and credentialed practitioners. Dr Lani Roy, along with her colleagues, seeks to educate the public on the potential benefits of psychedelic-assisted therapy. Along with the Australian Association of Psychedelic Practitioners, Dr Lani Roy is working to create a searchable and verified register of credentialed practitioners, expanding the resources available for those looking to engage with the ethical and suitably trained psychedelic practitioners. Other resources can be found at the links below.